But then came the realization, hey, I wonder if we can measure a person's heartbeat in a glass of water. Okay, that was the next logic in our step, right? So we basically took a glass of water, kind of like, might have even been this one, I don't know. <laughs> Put an electrode in it, and then had a, put an ECG on the person, and uh, a process called signal averaging to see if we could measure heartbeat in a glass of water. You know, when, when you were, you know, putting your, not touching it, but putting your hands around it, or even kind of near it. And lo and behold, we could. It was actually found that water was amplifying the magnetic field radiated by the heart, right? And you could detect it in a glass of water. Cool, right? Um, we thought. Um, it was kind of neat. You know, the fact that I'm sitting here now drinking my water and my heart is showing up in this glass literally right now. We could measure that, right? Like, I'll, I'll drink some of my heart energy. Oh, that is a precious thing to hear. I mean, it's a true story. Yes. So it's in hindsight, it, it's kind of dumb. Um, or, or the way we got to then the next step was, oh, gee, we can measure in the glass of water. Uh, we're big bags of water. Maybe we're the water in us is amplifying the, mag the magnetic signals between us, right? I mean, and we kind of went into it backwards. Got it. This uh, sounds but, like science to me. <laughs> but it's, it's a true story of how it actually unfolded. How uh, science gets done. So then we uh, started looking at the, could we detect uh, the heart's magnetic field communicating information between people? You know, with the, the idea that the water in us is amplifying uh, the signals and, you know, connecting with the neural structures and systems and so on. And lo and behold, that was amazingly easy to do um, using the, the similar signal averaging technique. And, and so I thought, well, this was actually really easy. I mean, the first experiment we did, it worked loud and clear. Boom, there it is, signals, right? And we did a few other experiments just to verify that we weren't crazy and different people. And I'm, I won't go into all that. That's all published, some of that back then. I think we first did it with touch and that was published the electro the electrical the electricity of touch i think was the title of one of those Ooh, great hard to remember that was way a long time ago and then we started doing it you know without touching and found it works just as well without touching and so on um 